Yesterday we lost the power. It's getting quite cold. guys welcome back to my channel today i thought that we could do a little art vlog with mostly some painting but i'm thinking of going to the art store tomorrow so i thought might as well bring you along with me in my latest videos i've started doing more and more like these loose abstract landscapes i don't know if they're abstract really but they're more abstract than what i used to do at least Maybe I can show you some example of stuff that I did recently. Uh, if you want to see more about the process and how I'm creating these paintings, then uh, you can go check out my latest videos. But you know, recently I did this one, um, this one. I did a bunch in this style. And what else? Hmm these so yeah there's a bunch of paintings that i've created and i've been having so much fun doing these i kind of wanted to bring this style on a large scale because now it's just in my sketchbook so what i do first is i create a background a little bit like this this one i created in my last video where I swatched a bunch of colors. And what I do is I take the color that is left on my palette and I create these backgrounds, which are going to act as a base for future paintings. So I already have one in my sketchbook, but I also created this one, which is big. It's so huge. And I have to say, I quite like this painting as it is. So I'm like, should I paint on it? Should I just leave it as is? It's quite nice. I like what's happening there. I like the textures and the movement. It's all over the place. I still like it though, but it's all over the place. Like trying to, I'm trying to picture it on a wall or like in a frame just to see. Would it be nice? I think it would. I think it would be a really nice painting to put in a frame. But this is going to be a background for a landscape. Yeah. <laughs> I need to select the picture that I'm going to paint. I'm planning on using my new color tools, some watercolor pencils. What else? Probably some watercolors, maybe some acrylic ink. I don't know yet. I can do whatever I want. Maybe I could use some oil pastels because since it's a sheet of paper I'll be able to frame it after and then the oil pastels won't smudge so many options but let's start by selecting a picture mm, this one will be fun I think I chose my picture it's a picture of a stream and there's grass on both sides and one side looks like it's freshly mowed so you see the lines in the grass so I think that's nice the stream makes this kind of S shape so it's a nice shape and there's one side of the shore that is a bit higher than the other so there's like the difference of height and in the distance you can see some mountains and you got some trees here and there so I think that we have an interesting composition we have interesting perspectives and we have different textures so i think that is going to be a good choice for us oh and i wanted to tell you before we start the paper that i'm using for this is this stratmore pad it's watercolor paper um, 18 by 24 inches and the series 400 it's acid free and it's 300 GSM so not bad at all I quite like it and now I'm debating whether I tape the edges or not because I like the unfinished look of my paintings that I have in my sketchbook where I well sometimes I do tape the edges though let's see what I prefer 
Okay, so this is a different style, but here I have taped the edges. And I like it, but I feel like it fits well with this style where everything is contained. There are specific shapes. So I feel like a neat edge fits well with this kind of painting. But here you see, I don't have a thick edge and I like it too. Same thing with this one. Do I have one in this style with a thick edge so I could compare? <laughs> don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So I think we're going to keep it raw. We're not going to take the edge. And we'll just see what happens. This is it. So we have the stream here that does this. Well, it's more like a C shape. You have this side here that is a bit higher than this side. And on this side, you can see the lines and the grass. And I can exaggerate the height of these mountains in the background. So I think we can do that and just have fun with proportions. And I think that the colors in this image will go well with the colors on the background, which are more like spring-like, I feel green and blue. So I think it's going to go well together and we're not going to take the edges. We can start working right away. I'm first going to take some materials out, put them in front of me so I can see them and I can reach for them because if they're hidden away, I might not think of using them. Here I'm just sketching the main shapes and I'm using a light colored pencil. Well, it's not a pencil, it's a new color too. But as you can probably notice, the light green was pretty hard to see. So I quickly switched to a darker color to focus a little bit on the shaded areas and the mix of that green and dark blue helped me to set the first, first few guides, I would say. And then I just had some fun and added all the color. This first part is always fun because it's just me scribbling and kind of like doodling and just making marks and drawing really fast to set the main colors, the main values and work on a layer that is either going to be a base layer or that is going to stay like it is if I like it in the end. So it's a very stress-free and a very relaxing first step. Now I'm using my pan pastels. It's the first time that I use pan pastels on a finished piece of artwork. I even think that it's the first time I use them at all on an artwork. Even in my sketchbooks, I've only swatched them but never used them in an artwork. So I really liked using them. They, this was the perfect color for the grass. I used a wet sponge to spread the pastel on the paper. And since the background was made with the watercolor, sometimes the colors would reactivate and merge with the pan pastel. So it kind of created a variation in the colors that I really enjoyed.
today is the next day and I don't know if you can hear that sound but there's freezing rain going on right now and I think it's the first time well it's very rare that my windows look like this so I thought I could show you and when I paint I hope that we can still hear that noise because it sounds so relaxing at the same time today I was thinking of going to the art store to do to pick up some stuff so I'm wondering how slippery is gonna be outside I hope I don't break anything but let me show you the window The only thing though is that it makes the room quite dark but I guess that's okay I guess we still have enough light to shoot a nice video I can show you what I did yesterday and um, well today I'm planning on finishing this painting slash drawing so yesterday what I did is I just added the first layer of new color tools I also used some watercolor pencils I'm going to continue with those today and I'm also going to add some water and then we'll see if I add more mediums. I was thinking I could add some uh, oil pastels which would be fun but I don't know we'll see. At the art store I wanted to go pick up other watercolor pencils. One thing that is a bit disappointing is that the art store like the biggest art store that we have the SAR doesn't hold these new color tools like individual colors you can only buy a set and they only have two sets they have the set of 10 colors and they have the set of 15 colors but it's not the kind of colors that i want i probably already have most of them so like for these fancier more fun colors i can't get them there i have to go somewhere else which is not close well it's close to my house but it's not close to that other store i want to go to so and I have gift cards for that big store for Desire, so that's why I want to go there. There's a bunch of things I wish they had that they don't, so it's kind of... I think we'll still go, we'll have a look. I'm sure I can find some stuff, to be honest, knowing me. Anyway. This is where we are at today. I didn't add much, I didn't have a lot of time, but I worked on this part here and here. But now I'm gonna go to the art store and hopefully I'm still gonna have some time to work on it when I come back. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna finish it tomorrow.
I'm back. Oh my god, my voice. It is 4.30 and I'm back. It's so wet outside. Sorry about my voice. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to lose my voice tomorrow. So I need my hot tea. I was in the store looking at the Daniel Smith paints and there was an employee next to me. And after a couple of minutes of looking, I turned to her and I'm like, could you open the... Um, the, it, because it's in a glass shelf, like a closed shelf. So I, I'm like, can you open the thing <laughs> um, for me? But as soon as I started speaking, I was like, I had no voice. So I sounded like, <laughs> yeah, human interactions were hard. There's some dried sugar on my chair. I baked so much these past few days. I made two sesame breads. Right now, I'm also making a lemon and blueberry bread. It's proofing right now. I'm going to bake it tomorrow morning. Yesterday, I baked some lemon muffins. And I also baked some like lemon brioche. Oh, so good. It's the best brioche dough I have ever made. It's perfect. It tastes like a restaurant. Now I have a lot of lemon juice, so I was thinking I should do a lemonade, but I think I'm gonna do it later tonight because I wanna enjoy the light that we still have and uh, paint and draw a little bit. I'm gonna show you, I have a small haul, but I'm going to make a video about it. Um, but I got my Daniel Smith Quinacridone Sienna, the paint that I almost finished, so I have a backup. Poor voice, I'm gonna stop talking to you now. Good morning. Today is day three of the big painting. And you saw yesterday the footage of when I went outside and there was ice everywhere. Um, there was fallen tree branches. And it was all fun and games at that point. But yesterday we lost the power at around 9 p.m. And it's still not back. So I think right now it's around 12. It's around noon. But I wouldn't know exactly because my phone is dead and I have no electricity and I have no internet. So who knows? <laughs> it's getting quite cold, so it's not very comfortable. And also it's uh, melting outside. My cat is a hairless cat, so I'm a bit worried about him because he's small. So I'm going to put him in a couple of shirts right now. He's sleeping under a pile of blankets, so I won't bother him. But when he gets up, I'm going to give him two extra shirts so he stays warm and the other thing is the contents of the fridge and um, freezer i really hope the power is gonna come back today but the whole city pretty much lost power i have enough food it's just that we won't be able to heat anything so we're gonna have to eat cold and later i'm going to work i'm working nights tonight I hope that when my boyfriend comes back, his phone is charged, so I at least know what time it is, so I know when to leave for work. And um, I hope that when I'm back, I can take a warm shower, because we don't need, we don't have warm water. So, <laughs> we'll see what a situation. And the thing that's missing 
dearly right now is a coffee. I wish I could have a coffee right now. So maybe I'm going to go see if the local coffee shop is open. Maybe they have a generator or something. But I can still film. I have this camera and I have six batteries. So until they die, I can use this camera. I'm still sick, but I'm doing better. <laughs> okay, let's work. So yesterday I added a little bit of water here and in the sand section. So I think I'm just gonna play around with water and then we'll see. Something I wanted to mention regarding this drawing is that initially I thought that since it was a big paper, I would have to draw a lot with my new color tools and I would use them all up really quickly. And I found out that it wasn't the case at all. Instead, well, for the biggest areas, I used my pen pastels. Having this big paper like that allowed me to focus a lot more on the details to, for example, add way more trees in the background than I would have been able to add in a small sketchbook. And I use a lot of different colors. So my Neo Color tools are still pretty much brand new after this painting. This is also a different type of paper than what I'm used to. I'm used to doing this style in my sketchbook, which is a mixed media paper. So it's a lot smoother than this paper. This paper wasn't too rough though, but it's still a watercolor paper. So it has more texture than what I'm used to which made using watercolor pencils a bit harder, but at the same time, it created so much more texture. So I think that doing this style on a rougher paper like this is something that I was really able to embrace. Let's add a little bit of water. Ooh. Yeah, I always love this color when I add the water. It becomes a thousand times better. I walked to the coffee shop. I wish I brought my camera because there were tree branches on the ground. Like pretty much every tree lost a branch at least. So it's like a very chaotic scene outside. And when I went, it was starting to get warmer. So you could hear the ice melt and fall to the ground. And it was like just like ice raining everywhere from the tree branches. And that was crazy. So I wish I could bring it with me because it was very eerie oh, and it was very foggy also so it was a very special scene i don't think i've ever seen anything like this so but my phone was dead it still is yeah and then i walked to the coffee shop and it was closed because they don't have any electricity i would love coffee right now i feel so tired maybe i'm gonna go read in bed like what else can we do <laughs> we're so dependent on electricity and i made some bread yesterday it looked amazing. It's blueberry and lemon bread, sourdough bread. And I was supposed to bake it today, 
but I don't have any electricity, so I can't bake it. So now it's in my fridge and it's getting warmer and warmer. And it's just, it's going to be overproofed for sure. Like it's getting huge. I don't think that's very good. So I'm kind of hoping that we get electricity back soon so I can bake it and see. So what I'm trying to do right now is find a way to make these mountain pops in the background because I feel like they don't pop enough against the sky. So I'm trying to add some more colors um, and we'll see. This the texture I'm creating in the background. I think this is nice. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. I might just add a bit of texture in this in here like a bit of lighter blue maybe I love that little bridge right here. It's so cute. And I really like the texture in the mountain. I feel like you see that there's a mountain now. It, it really separates from the sky and you don't really necessarily notice it at first, but when you take the time to look at the painting, you're gonna notice it. And you'll see that the texture from here, from the mountain is very different from the texture in the sky. So I think it makes a big, a big difference. I love these little lines. I think they add so much texture and fun and movement. And here, what I did is I just used my pan pastels and I thought I would add more texture, but turns out it looks like grass and it looks perfect just the way it is. So I just left it at that. I really like the color in the sand, all the colors that merge together. That's perfect. And in the river here, I almost didn't touch it. It's just a background color. I just added a little bit of white here but the rest is untouched. I feel like the movement in it is perfect. I'm done. I'm so happy about it. I didn't know that I would be able to reproduce this style on such a large scale. Now I can't wait to create more of these. I wanna frame it. I wanna look at it all the time. It's so nice. It's so cute. Oh. But thank you for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it inspired you to create. Otherwise, I hope that it entertained you. 
Now I'm going to find a way to get warm because it keeps getting colder and colder. I'm going to show you some close-ups and I will see you next week. Bye! Update on the electricity situation. Today is the next day. We still don't have any electricity. Fortunately, I'm working 12 hour shifts at the hospital, so I get to be warm. For 12 hours, I get to charge my phone, have access to the internet <laughs> for 12 hours. Hopefully, we'll regain electricity by midnight today. But I know that some people will regain it only tomorrow. I would say that for now we still have enough food, so that's okay, and nothing containing meat, so I'm not worried about about it. But outside is three degrees Celsius. I don't know how it is in Fahrenheit. I can write it here. Three degrees Celsius. So you can imagine that it's getting quite cold inside. The other thing that is uh a bummer is the shower situation. Yesterday I was able to shower at work, so that's good, but it's just that now my only towel is wet, so do I bring my wet towel back to work? <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to bank on the fact that electricity is supposed to come back today. And if it's not back, I'm gonna go shower my sisters. But I slept really well. I was very toasty. I had three blankets and I wore my hat. So I was I was comfortable. Good thing I have a lot of experience camping in the cold. My bathroom is really dark, so I I get ready here. Anyway, that's it. That was just an update. Maybe I'll update tomorrow with some news. Who knows? Hello, so this is day three. I woke up this afternoon and we had electricity. So there was a bunch of lights turned on all over the apartment. It's still cold because electricity came back maybe an hour ago. So it's still cold inside, but it's getting better. I have hot water. I could make myself a coffee today. Yeah. And what's funny is that in the next few days, it's supposed to be like 15 to 20 degrees outside. I'm putting my sunscreen on, by the way, as you should do too every day. So that's it. I just wanted to update you at the end of this video because I didn't want you to think that I lost electricity forever and I was gone. So I'm, I survived. <laughs> I survived. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Bye.